when answering exam questions, there are a few key things to remember. Right? So just, just remember exam technique is a key part in preparation for any exams. And it's something that you'll pick up the more you go and you do past papers. Right, so many like questions in exams are repeats of what will be in old exams. So going and looking at lots of generic questions beforehand is a good idea. When going and answering and questions and reading them, there's a few things just take into account. Make sure you go read the question at least twice so you don't make any mistakes when you're reading them. As you're reading them, go highlight key information. Don't make assumptions about what the question's asking. Uh, make sure after you've answered it, you go check your work for like daft errors that you might make. And if it involves going and answering something where there's some calculation, make sure that you write your workings out of that. Right, let's go and have a look at the question. So if we consider terminal velocity, right, we're starting off and we need to think about the fact when objects are dropped being the key for the first key thing that we need to think about. So at the start when an object is dropped, it accelerates downwards. Right, and it's accelerating downwards because of its of its weight caused by uh, the force of gravity. Right, as it first starts, there's very, very little air resistance pushing back on it. So the resultant force is acting downwards, right, which is why it's accelerating. So as it gains speed, its weight stays the same, so it's not increasing. However, the air resistance on it increases. Right, so there's now a resultant force acting in the opposite direction of it, right? So eventually, this weight and the air resistance is balanced quite, uh, quite importantly. So this means that there'll be zero and no resultant force on it, which means that it will fall at a steady speed, so it won't accelerate anymore. And at that point, we can say that it has reached terminal velocity. So quite often you will go and see one of these graphs. So you can see there right at the start its, uh, its velocity is nothing because it's, it's only just started to fall. We can see there as it goes and it speeds up its acceleration increases as it speeds up until we reach this point here where it's moving at a steady speed right at that point it's reached terminal velocity quite often they'll talk about this parachute opening remember as the parachute opens that increases the surface area which will increase the force going up so eventually you'll reach this second terminal velocity a bit further along so we just have a quick look at this question. So the graph shows how the terminal velocity of a parachutist changes from the moment the parachute jumps from the aircraft until it's landing on the ground. So using the idea of forces, explain, right, the key bit there is the explain part, why the parachutist reaches a terminal velocity and why the parachutist reduces its terminal velocity once the parachute opens. So effectively, we've got to remember that we're answering this question in two stages. So kind of the first bit is that we talk about, about the weight of the gravity, pulling it down. That is going to go and cause air resistance on it, right? So we're starting off at zero. As it's falling, we're increasing the air resistance going up on it, right? So that's going to put a greater force going back until is velocity moving down and the air resistance uh, the weight pushing down and the air resistance are equal at which point it reaches terminal velocity right the second part is talking about when or once the parachute is opened so that parachute opening there so we can see that it increases the surface area therefore the resultant force acts upwards or in the opposite direction 
so that will go and decelerate his speed until it becomes equal again and he reaches that second period of terminal velocity however it's a lot lower than before the parachute opened so hopefully you have found that uh, useful if you've got any questions then drop it in the comments below and uh, and we'll be uploading a lot more All right good luck folks